Why is no one talking about this? Finding a romance story that is unique and relatable amongst a pool of many other romance anime and manga that's pretty much saturated nowadays is not the easiest thing to do. And honestly, it's the one time I'm glad my addiction to scroll through short videos has led me to this masterpiece. So whoever the random person that edited panels from this manga and posted the sauce, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, because I instantly picked up the manga from this beautiful artwork alone and found myself treated to this amazing story, which at first I thought was going to be your average Romeo and Juliet can't be together type of story. Which, let's be real, we have plenty of nowadays. But to my surprise, this manga was much more. I couldn't really put my finger on it at first, but unlike the usual tropes, this felt so much more real. Every character truly feels human, act the way most of us would. And the romance story of these two mature characters that are navigating this cruel yet beautiful world that brought them together, and exploring their newfound feelings towards each other, whilst dealing with their underlying problems. This is the story of Karu Hana Warin Tosaku, where the fragrant flower blooms with dignity. <laughs> We've seen this forbidden love trope before, Romeo and Juliet type, whether it be boarding school Juliet, Nisekoi, or just a delinquent and soft duo type of story like Toradora, Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. You get my point, but the fragrant flower blooms with dignity brings those tropes down to earth. Something that you can relate to, easy to put yourself in the shoes of, and truly empathize with. And a lot of it felt reasonable to me, not just drama for the sake of being drama and shock. Which I am telling you, we do need a more of nowadays after watching Domestic Girlfriend. Taking place in Japan, two high schools right next to each other with completely opposite reputations, Chidori Public High School, known for delinquents stereotypically deemed to be not smart, and the all-girls Kikyo Private Academy, a prestigious school known for wealthy and smart students. And well, the students of each respective school don't really like each other. And here begins our MC, Sumugi Rintaro's story, a kind-hearted individual who's used to being looked down upon by others, because his face alone scares people away, kind of like Ryuji from Toradora, and Waguri Kaoruko, a student from the prestigious all-girls high school, stumbling upon him at a cake shop owned by his mom where he secretly works at and helps out at. And it's also where Karuko secretly indulges in cake without being judged by others. And thus begins the story of Rintaro and Karuko's growing relationship, as she eventually discovers that Rintaro is from the delinquent school, and her decision and choice is based on that, and Rintaro for once experiencing kindness from someone else. The story can almost bring someone to tears without that reason actually being that it's sad. The happy moments that require sacrifice, compromise, understanding each other, the burden of societal expectations, family expectations, the insecurity of not being accepted, and not just our two main characters Karuko and Rintaro, trying to find their place in the world but also their parents, everyone else around them, the side characters, their friends. And that's where the story is truly able to shine, something that by all sense could be extremely boring if you were to just read the synopsis. For me, this really hit hard when Rintaro, who is constantly putting himself down, so used and surrendered to the fact that people are scared of him, that he's just quick to blame himself for any wrong that happens, until he meets Karuko, who he first thought was just another person that's scared of him, until she reassures him of the simple fact that not once was that ever the case. Case. And it's this one page here, despite how simple or mundane it is, that for some reason just really struck a chord with me. The genuine smile from Karoko and the shock on Rintaro's face, and the parts following makes it that much more impactful, as we get to see Rintaro's monologue. And well, the rest I'll just let you guys read it for yourself, because it's just nothing short of beautiful and emotional. The fact that this manga is only enhanced by the art style, really unique and detailed. It's honestly unbelievable just how much the smallest of wrinkles or change in expression this manga can portray, and then convey the right amounts of feelings towards us, the reader. Just like the interactions, the expressions feel so human and real. I think anyone can just take a look at a few pages and tell that the mangaka, Saka Mikami, truly loves the story that they're drawing up. It's a work of passion and there's really spirit behind it. If you've been on my channel long enough, you already know this recommendation from an old video of mine, which was only 30 seconds long and honestly it made me very happy to learn so many people picked it up because of me. And well, with the recent progression in the manga, it's like I started admiring the story all over again. So I had to make this video and I genuinely hope that someday this gets an anime adaptation. I would love to see these characters is brought to life and i'm sure if you read it you'll think the same as well or at least i hope so yeah that's about it as always thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and hopefully that way this manga gets more attention and if you're new here why not hit subscribe uh, for more manga anime japan related content like this and yeah as always appreciate it bye 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 subscribe like and subscribe bye bye subscribe peace i said that like four times